everyone. Welcome back to Because Jesus Bible Journaling. It's Monica, and today I have kind of a relaxed video for you. I'm going to be working in my King James Version My Promise Bible, and this is what that Bible looks like from the outside. It's just gorgeous, and this is a soft cover version. I have a link down below. This one I have just enjoyed so much. It has pages in it, just like my other Bibles do, where there are blank margins. And then it also has pages in it that have artwork already for you to color if you'd rather do that. And then it even has pages, like the one I'm going to work on today. It's a full page illustration. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using some watercolor crayons here and some watercolor pencils to kind of show you guys different ways I would use them on this page. So this scripture comes from Hebrews 6 verse 19 which is actually on the reverse side of this page. It says, which hope we have as an anchor of the soul both sure and steadfast. So this is just all about hanging on to the hope that we have in Jesus. So one of the first things that I'm going to show you is how to use watercolor crayons and then we're going to be jumping back in with watercolor pencils. So watercolor crayons I really like to use in larger areas. The reason is that the tips on these, as you can see, are not super fine point. So basically what I'm going to be doing is using them like a crayon and where I color is where they're going to turn out darkest and then they are also spreadable once I get the water going on the page. So I'm going to start with this banner here, kind of a larger area. Anywhere that the artist before me has drawn lines, I'm going to go ahead and add some color to the page. As I work, I'm kind of asking myself this morning, what am I holding on to hope for? What is it that I feel like God has called me to in my life? that I am holding on to hope in him that he is going to work out all the details. So I encourage you today to spend some time in prayer. What is it that God has called you toward that you are relying on him to keep your hope strong and to work out the details in your life? Leave a comment below if you feel like sharing any of your story with me. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing, what's going on in your lives, what God is showing you, things like that. I'm going to move on to the anchor and I think I'm going to go with gray and I might add some deeper black to it in just a few places. How's everyone's summer going? Do you guys have any fun trips or travels planned? Any fun ways you've seen the Lord show up in your lives? We have sold a house and bought a house and moved recently in the last couple months and that's been a really fun journey with the Lord and we have definitely had to remain anchored in Him and kept our hope alive. <laughs> so many things have just sort of failed or gone slower or just a little bit in a, more of an unexpected way than we would have liked or hoped. And he's been definitely my anchor in all of this, giving me peace. These are my Mungo watercolor crayons, and there is a link below. When I was living in a different country, this was just the brand that was available. I know that lots of people love the Neocolor 2, I think it is, and they're a similar product. Okay, I've got a lot of these big areas done, and I think think I'm going to go ahead and start in with the fun part, which is adding some water to the page. I think I'm going to go with kind of a medium sized brush for this. And I've got my water here off to the side. I also have my paper towel here. So the key is you don't want to come with a brush that's just dripping with water because you're going to lose some of those nice edges. So you just want to dab off those first couple drips and then go ahead and start and always start with the lightest color. So I'm going to do the pinks and then I'll probably do the purple down here and give that pink a chance to dry and then go in with the gray and the black. You can very much see how much more vibrant that color became up here. 
And the great thing is you can use whatever color gets on your brush to kind of spread into these areas here that there wasn't really color. One thing you saw me just do is where my color got a little heavy, I went ahead and just dabbed it off while it was wet with paper towel and it lightened right up. So let me see if I can do that again here. So kind of as you wet the places that you scribbled, the color just kind of loosens up and starts spreading around. And yeah, again, I'm getting a little too dark right here. So I'm just gonna take a little corner of my paper towel and just kind of blot that up. As with any watercolor, these are going to dry lighter than initially when they're wet. And also, wherever you leave off with your brush stroke, that's where the most saturated color is kind of going to rest on the paper. And don't be afraid to leave some white space that you don't actually blend into with color. That is just fine. It's just leaving some highlights. And you can kind of feel when your brush is dry and you need to reload, it'll start not really blending the color as nicely anymore. I've always loved the symbol of an anchor for God. Something you can really count on and know that he's not, he's not moving. He is immovable. So I'm going to use this color and just kind of like put a little bit on the page, but not a lot, just to kind of add a sense of maybe making this look like an aged piece of paper. So one other thing I wanted to show you that you can do with watercolor crayons, and then we'll move on to watercolor pencils, is just this trick here where you can wet the tip of it with your brush and use it kind of like you would a watercolor. And what that's gonna allow you to do is go in and make these areas quite a bit more vibrant and dark. So I'm wanting to add a little bit of color to the part of this banner that is back further than the rest of it. So you can see that made it a lot more vibrant in color. You can also use a different color. This is kind of a navy blue. And I want to add some dimension to that purple banner, just to those areas that are kind of in shadow. Now I'm going to go ahead and transition to watercolor pencils. These ones here are Faber-Castell watercolor pencils, and I really do like them. I'm going to add some greenish tones in these little swirly do leaves on the edges, and I'm going to apply this very similarly. The nice thing about these is that their points are much smaller, so you can get into those tight areas. So when I'm working to sort of add one color to the page, I like to pick out all of those colors that I have, and then that way I get a range of color. So I'm gonna start with the lightest one, and I think I'm gonna just imagine my light source coming from this direction. That's the direction my light source in my imagination usually comes from. So anything close to that light source is gonna be this lighter green. Something that makes me think of hope is just this story leading up to the crucifixion, but then resurrection of Jesus. What a difference that makes in our lives, that we have hope for life after death, the power of the resurrection in our own lives. Such an amazing gift, such an amazing hope to be able to hold on to. Skipping to my darkest color now to get some of these 
areas where they would be in shadow because the light source coming from this side isn't really hitting them. So I'm just adding in some darker points. Again, it's so nice to work with pencil because you can get into these much tighter areas this way. And then whatever's left, I'm going to color in lightly with this kind of medium green. Again, these will spread as you work. The colors will blend together and things will spread out and it's all going to work out. So I've zoomed in so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better since these little details are so small. And hopefully you can see the difference here where the water has blended it and here where I haven't touched with water yet. And I kind of did a three wave technique. I did the lights, the mediums, and then the darks with my paintbrush. So there you go. I'm going to do the same thing down here on the bottom and I'll be right back. So what I'm starting to work on here is the rope and I've added yellow to the whole thing. I'm going to go in with a darker color and add a little bit of dimension. The nice thing about working on someone else's sketch is they've already drawn in some of these lines to indicate shadow. So just put the darker colors there. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of color to the lettering through here, but kind of not a lot. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of detailing using my Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens. These are the ones with the writing tip. I'm feeling like that anchor of the soul and the word both are sort of getting lost in this banner, whereas everything else is kind of pretty clear to read. So I'm just going to add a line sort of on one side of each stroke of every letter and see if that helps things kind of pop out a little bit. And that's about it. Again, just a nice relaxing day in God's Word, coloring in some art, showing you the difference between watercolor pencils and watercolor crayons and how you can use them. Thank you so much for tuning in to Because Jesus Bible Journaling here on YouTube. Find us on Facebook, Because Jesus Bible Journaling. We've got a great community going on over there. You can also shop my Etsy store, Because Jesus Bible Art, and get templates to use in your Bible. Links for everything I've used today are in the description box below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so that you know every time I post a video. Have a great day.